Hey, hey, Tommy here with part three of this um, reading my pastor's take on the uh, virus. And this third part is the powers of dark wisdom arising. <clears throat> we must step back from the hysteria and panic of the moment and candidly consider what is happening at this hour throughout the world's governments. Through the respect of Donald Trump and all that he is doing for our country, in light of of this virus invasion we are presently witnessing our nation and all the nations of the earth supply manipulating mandates from local state and federal levels as to how we are to live during these weeks or perhaps months of this crisis these worldwide mandates are under guide the guise of dealing with the coronavirus are now worldwide closing both public and private schools limiting worship services where attendance exceeds a certain number in ranges of 100 to, to 10, 10 persons uh, even in China Af uh, even in Ghana sorry even in Ghana Africa where we had several mission works a mere four cases of of COVID-19 shut down the entire country. The government <clears throat> has closed all schools for 30 days. Attendance to churches, prayers, meetings, and other congregate gatherings are now being forced to shut down. Though we may certainly desire to be wise in these days, we must be conscious of the biblical fact that we are living in the prelude days of the coming Antichrist. Only a crisis of global mag of, of worldwide magnitude, dang it, and uh, will bring him to the forefront uh, for world re rulership. Yes, it will be a worldwide crisis so critical in the thinking of the nation of the nations that they will cry for such a savior to rise and lead the nations through the crisis. It is becoming more and more evident as the governments exercise newer powers for control that the, that these preliminary days are preparing the world for state control <clears throat> which will be set in place before the antichrist's appearance the socialists running for president uh, in the United States are calling for nationalization of the energy industry of health care and even of our financial markets in order to save the world from capitalism and the coronavirus Back in 1986, President Ronald Reagan warned our country the nine most terrifying words in the English language are I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Please don't fall for it, people. Crisis events are what permit the government to become more controlling to become more and more the controlling factor of our existence sorry N note New York Mayor Bill Blasio's recent words this is a case for nationalism nationalization literally a nationalization of crucial factories and industries that could produce the the medical supplies to prepare this country for what we need he also believes it's time to nationalize all important sectors of the economy by taking over private industries and transitioning to a war co time economy already such mayors across america are mandating house confinement except for the imperative need of shopping for for needed supplies curfews are being appointed for the same of isolation of the virus in in the throes of this present hysteria and fear of this virus are all these mandates simply providing preliminary training for the implementation of a, of a blueprint for mass manipulation by the governments around the world wow that's saying it all folks this man knows I just wish he would admit the Bible changes <clears throat> are happening it is interesting to note that that decorated scientist Shiva Yai Duri, Yai, whatever the heck I'm butchering that, with four degrees from Massachusetts Institute of Technology (MIT), believes the coronavirus pandemic is being used by the deep state for its own purposes. 
He said on Twitter that, that fear-mongering over the outbreak is being used to push an agenda. Yes, it is. The New World Order agenda, the One World Order agenda. As an MIT PhD in bio biological engineering who studies and does research nearly every day on the immune system for the coronavirus, fear-mongering by the deep state will go on in history as one of the biggest frauds to manipulate economies, suppress dissidents, and uh, so push mandated medicine. He said these w words in response to President Donald Trump's words in of uh, March 9th, 2020. The fake news media and their partner, the Democratic Party, is doing everything which, within its semi-considerable power, it used to be greater, to inflame the coronavirus situation far beyond what the facts would warrant. Surgeon General has stated the risk is low to the average American. Never did he say that uh, the disease is a hoax. He merely noted that there are those in the government using the pandemic to frighten people into obedience. Oh, dear reader, dare we com computate, com contemplate uh, what has happened in just the past week. Uh, what have we done? We truly believe there is a crisis, at, uh, and it is evident that this virus is spreading. Furthermore, we sympathize with all those who have been affected by the, the event. Uh, and I love how he said by, by this event. Uh, nevertheless, this crisis will be used by the devil's advocate to gain greater greater control of humanity and force an increase in 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 anonymity of uh, you you. you unanimity uh, of the nations in the name of health. We have handed the control of nearly everything in our lives to the government. They are telling us what to do with our children, where to go, when to go, how to, how many can be present, whether we can worship our God in, in public. Uh, although this although the disease is certainly real, no, it's not probably. Uh, but what does all this of uh, what does all of the the intrusion of the government mean at this time on the eve of another election? <clears throat> uh, will the, this cause? Uh, us to believe that for the sake of safety and health, a socialistic government is now our answer? No. Is this a way we will be caused to submit to state powers? Uh, although it may be that our president fears the intrusion of these governmental mandates, he also believes he will be viewed as a failure for not caring for America if he does not submit to the forces of socialism. We may have thought that the padding, padlocking of our churches and schools uh, would be have been the way it all would have ended in the uh, in the country, but a mutated virus has become a manipulative guise to restrain our public worship. In this crisis, even prisoners are being released from some co county and state prisons in order to prevent a catastrophe uh, in the in the event that a virus were to 